All right, your second project for the color unit uh, is a full color drawing. Your two choices are the reflective surface uh, drawing or the full color still life. The main objective of this lesson is to use a full broad range of color in your palette to achieve a representation of the subject. Again, just a reminder, you can layer your pastels. I highly recommend you do this. This specific example here starts with the black and white values on a colored ground and then proceeds to add color as they go. Notice this is just one example. Uh, you don't necessarily have to progress this way. You can go black and white with a single color and then switch colors as you go or you know any number of solutions would do fine. Here are some recommended techniques. A wide variety of strokes can be used. I do want you to stay tight and representational, and I want you to blend your pastels. Try not to use your fingers to smudge or blend, though. Uh, the oil of your fingers kind of lifts up the color and really blurs it past recognition. If you can, smudge with a blending stump, or smudge and blend with uh, the pastel sticks themselves. And if you don't know how to do this, I'll show you how. Uh, one thing to consider while making colors or blending colors when you use pastels is that often pastels come in the color you need them to be. Uh, the pastels we have, however, do not. So you have a limited range of colors available to you. You're going to have to start making unusual combinations of colors to achieve some of the colors you see in your objects. So start thinking in terms of unorthodox combinations. Notice the uh, pure green and the orange makes a very olive kind of muddy green there and uh, you know adding it to the gray adds this creates this sort of warmish gray uh, you have to experiment with complex color combinations throughout this entire assignment it doesn't necessarily have to be 100 percent matched to your objects but it should get close through experimentation your first option is the reflective surface pastel drawing uh, simply put, you're going to find something with a shiny reflective surface. This could be a polished uh, kettle, a pewter vase, uh, a can of paint that has kind of a burnished, uh, highly reflective chrome side to it. Anything reflective uh, glassware is also appropriate. Um, if you're doing glassware, though, make sure you have a colored subject behind it refracted through the glassware. You can use a colored you know, cloth or some sort of setup where you arrange your objects in front of colored objects to uh, help add some color to it. The whole point here, of course, is to try and represent the super complex object using all of the colors visible in that object. And because it's reflective, it'll reflect any color it sees out back at you. So you're going to have a lot to contend with when it comes to mixing colors within that range of gray or black um, and uh, white in that subject. So it's quite a challenge. Here are some student examples of work uh, to the quality level that I expect it to be achieved. Um, notice they've got the the refractions of the subject correct, they have the difference in value correct, and they have all the complex grays visible in their object. This is the struggle you are undertaking. You only have to draw a single subject though, so that'll save you a lot of time. Don't have to draw a background. Uh, I would like it if you did situate it in space though. And because it's a single subject, you should be spending 90% of your time getting as much detail as you can out of that subject. Some more examples, of course, of a paint can. This is a little easier, but notice they still mix and blend certain grays and are able to get a representation of the subject. Your second option is by far, I think, the easiest option simply because you have a little bit more flexibility. It's the full color still life. You can set up a still life, hopefully with colorful objects within it, and represent that still life. Uh, try to have a well-balanced composition that fills up most of the picture plane and represent your subject as naturalistically slash realistically as possible. Um, obviously, you're going to have a broader range of colors to match here, but you're going to have more flexibility in how you match those colors. So try to use complementary color pairs. Try to really, really blend unorthodox combinations of color like orange and purple just to see what it does and how it affects that color. 
to uh, match it to your subject. Again, try to avoid blending with your fingers. Just use a blending stump or use the actual pastels themselves. Here are some examples. Uh, two different kinds of marks are being made here. The one on the right is a bit choppier and the one on the left is a bit smoother using the side of the pastel. Uh, you can also tell the one on the left has been done on pastel paper. Again, if you want, uh, just request some pastel paper and I'll try to find some for you. Some more examples. Of course here you can see how the color is loosely used to represent the subject. You do have this freedom. Uh, I highly recommend that you arrange your still life with tons of colorful objects so that you create this playground for different color combinations. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be 100% representational in terms of the color. I want you to reflect and uh, react to the colors present by making complex color combinations. So please play around with what colors you use and how you represent them. This final example I give to you just to show you the texture of the pastel paper coming through and unusual color combinations. You'll notice in the yellow there's purples, reds, all sorts of colors combined to create the pear and the orange. Um, really try this out. Uh, notice there is not an awful lot of blending here. Only pastels were used. A lot of the grain of the paper is open, which tells you that only pastels were used. If a finger or a blending stump had been used, those little grit holes, those little like gaps in the strokes there, uh, would be filled. This is okay if you don't necessarily fill these. Try to blend and fill them with the pastels and the pastels only. And again, if you want pastel paper, please request it. It's, it's kind of fun to play around with for this project.